Namaste. Hello, this is Anita from Denmark calling out to you all around the world and especially this video is made for Katrina. Hi Katrina, thank you for again being a loyal subscriber and question uh, asker if you can say that. Um, so you want to know about my trip in India. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I won't go into a lot of the details because it was a long trip and a lot went on in India. India is a place of mystic, a place that you can't imagine if you haven't been there. It's a culture shock. It's like nowhere else on the planet. It's amazing. It's beautiful and it's so ugly at the same time. And it's, it's like, you can't explain it. But for me, I started, I, I was 23. And you're normally not supposed to take a trip to India alone as a girl when you're so young. It can be very dangerous because a lot of things go on. But um, I'm a bold girl, so I went. Anyway, I wanted to go and see India. And I won't ever regret it, even though what happened in India um, made me very, very sick in the Western society way of looking at the health and the mental health situation. In India, I would be considered a holy woman, but in the Western, I'm being considered a schizophrenic. Anyway, I started out in like this. I um, jumped on a plane and I, I, didn't, I hadn't gotten my period, so I was shit scared that I was pregnant. And uh, I landed in Delhi and it was summer. I was like, I, I, I left uh, the 28th of November and I was there for the two Y2K. And I will tell you about this, but uh, I, I was so shit scared that I, that I was pregnant. And when we came to the airport in Delhi, my luggage was gone and it was not on the plane. So I had my bag and fortunately for me, I packed a shitload and I had a huge bag that I made myself which with all my most necessary stuff in it and expensive things in it. And I went to a hotel that I was recommended by my boyfriend at the time and he was supposed to meet me there. But uh, at the hotel, there was apparently two hotels. He was supposed to have written a letter for me and there was no letter with any thing. So I was like there with my stuff. And that, I met these amazing people at this hostel. And they, there was this girl, she gave me everything. And the first day I was there, I got my period. So I was really relaxed. And uh, then I went to the bazaar uh, and I, I bought myself a Walkman, a little bottle of whiskey and some chata, some ganja, some hashish. Uh, and then I got a room and for myself, the first night I spent with some other travelers, we shared the room. But the second night I was alone and I put up some pictures of my friends and I, I had bought a tape with David Bowie. He just came out with the, um, with the album Hours. And I was drinking my whiskey, smoking my ganja, crying and thinking about home and being, but crying for, for happiness because it was such an adventure. Uh, then after being in Delhi for a few days, I went north, I went to Rajasthan, I went to a co city called uh, Pushka, and Pushka is a place like nothing else. I was living in a hostel where there was in the center of this hostel, it was built around a tree and this tree was holy and they prayed for this tree. And this year was like the, the every 63 years the moon goes like big and this is a big celebration. and. I was there Christmas Eve and I was drinking some, um, what's it called, some, 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 it's a drink with, with, with a weed in it uh, and I don't remember the name of it and then I was standing in the, the street with no people, only cows walking around with a guy, an Indian guy, I just bought these fire tools to play with fire, I have some here that called, wait, they're called poise. I have them with LED light and uh, you, you play with them and uh, he told me how to play with them that night and they, then uh, I went to Goa to spend the two, the new New Year's Eve 2 2000 and I was at Disco Valley and at 12 o'clock New Year's Eve 
everything went black like really and it was not the setup it was not the y2k we thought at all of us there thought that wow now it was happened but actually the there was just the electricity gone and after 10 minutes it came back we were there then i found out i had dropped the, the, the keys to my scooter and i was with this japanese guy and we walked to something called hill hill, hill the hilltop and I was in pink and I was so beautiful. I had this really shiny dress on with the with silver belt and I was just dancing all night and on hills up. And, and that was the start of, from, of my trip in India. I was in Goa for around three months. I was in India total four months before I was introduced to a drug called Datura, which I have tattooed on my neck. It's the most dangerous drug on the planet. It's called the Devil's Trumpet, Jameson's Weed, or the Tura. And I was giving this drug without my knowledge, and I had a sh shitstorm adventure of a bad trip. But for me, it was just as real as you and I, as, as I'm here, and it ended up making me psychotic. So I spent the next two and a half years being psychotic, and I was helped home from India by the foreign ministry, and a lot happened since then. I'm okay now. I've been okay for the last four years. I have no mental disorders. I am fully functional and I feel really, really good. And I wouldn't like change anything that happened in my life in the last 16 years since I was there. Because I wouldn't be the one I am now. And I wouldn't have all those wonderful and bad experiences which made me so strong and made, made me so much full of love for myself and everybody else so india gave me my life and i will always love india and i want to return to india when i have the chance um i can talk more about india but i prefer not to i want to like keep that a private but um if we meet if you come to denmark katrina i can personally tell you more about it but uh, if we don't meet welcome to denmark you will enjoy it denmark is a wonderful country i can highly recommend it people call it a fairy tale land and it kind of is it is we have four seasons everybody does but ours are more like specific scandinavian say, um, seasons are more specific specific they are like uh, very winter very spring very summer and very fall and it's beautiful here you know so that's it and then i want to end this with a with a little funny thing my friend just came and gave me this book it says the french algorithm dr sheldon cooper and then it's the big bang theory it's like a notebook it has it's a blank notebook but it's the big bang theory i don't watch the tv show i used to watch it but i think that the idea about it and i love the song da, 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 da. i don't even remember it but i like it and i think this book is very cool so thank you david my good friend um okay and thank you katrina for asking about india maybe i will tell you more of my experiences down there and my adventures because i had a lot and it was amazing and uh, thank you for watching my videos please give it a thumbs up if you like this video also everybody else please give it a thumbs up if you don't if you like me subscribe i want so many i can get because i love you all and i i i love everything and i i pray for life and i i meditate for the earth and the future i have a child and i want her to see what i see and I want to get to be a very old woman on a very good planet, not full of pollution and shit. So let's pray together and let's meditate together to make this place a place to be forever. Okay, let's make this heaven stay heaven. Namaste. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Have a nice morning. Poof, over and out. Radian out. Peace. Out.